Speaking of construction activity, our Public Works Department has had a busy year. Our crews have completed many road projects this year, including Pleasant Run Road reconstruction south of John McCain, the rehabilitation of John McCain Road, LD Lockett, Oak Timbers Court, Manning, Bowman, Stafford, and Oak Knoll. We also partnered with Tarrant County to resurface Cheeksburger, parts of Pleasant Run, Montclair, Blue Bonnet Drive, and Wayne Drive. This year, our partnership will continue as we resurface McDonwell and Branford Road. This partnership with Tarrant County and Commissioner Fickus, I don't know if Commissioner Fickus is here today or not, saves you, the taxpayers, about 40% of construction costs through the use of county employees. We buy the material, they put it in. So I want to publicly thank the county and Commissioner Fickus for the partnership, it's truly appreciated. And by the way, Commissioner Fickus is a Colleyville resident, so we got an inside track. <laughs> Uh, to ensure we are maintaining our focus on quality, over the last year the Colleyville Engineering Division developed a local street maintenance program. The street maintenance program supplements the capital improvement plan in order to provide the city with a transparent and effective way to reinvest and maintain one of our largest assets, our streets. New residents are able to see the rating of all roads in town, not new, now residents, all residents. <laughs> to see the rating of all roads in town and see where their road ranks on our priority list. This document is available online on colleyville.com and we update it annually. This is an important document because I get asked a lot. When is, when is my street going to be done? So we tried to capture a process for doing that and this is it. I'm proud of that. The largest street project in town, so now we get to Highway 26, is on track and making progress every day although it takes a long time to do that much road work. By summer, all outer lanes and intersections will be finished and all entryways to neighborhoods and businesses will be accessible. That'll make it a lot better. By the end of 2019, the entire TxDOT project should be complete. We expect it to be complete. Once that project wraps up, we will focus our attention on ensuring Highway 26 has a beautiful look and feel. We're working with the design firm Mesa to create a look for Highway 26 that includes enhanced street lighting, landscape medians, and well-groomed sidewalks and trails. So let's watch this 3D video rendering that illustrates the enhancements that we are considering. And I'll try to tell you a little about it as the video goes on. So it's going to start on the north end of 26 going south. We're approaching John McCain Road. This is the northern gateway. So that's John McCain right, right there. Uh, this is a vertical structure, some nice wall verticals. And you'll see the park, I mean the trail meanders around that as it approaches John McCain and links up with Cotton Belt. So notice here in the, in the center medians, the trees are large. We're going to put large trees in and we're approaching Main Street. So this is Main Street. We'll have some additional vertical structures here, a lot of landscaping, and kind of a circular design on both sides of the streets. I want you to notice if it comes up again, the, the street lights, custom street lights, you can see, not that one, the second one, you see if you can see that, it's got banners on it. So we're putting the ability for banners in the downtown core so we can uh, advertise things. This now is moving north right at the creek uh, uh, north into Colleyville, that's the creek, and so we have a vertical structure right there as a marker. And we're going to connect from the Colleyville Nature Center the trail out to 26, so that's going to be a focal point for that trail connection. I think it's going to be beautiful. Now this, this is at night, because there's going to be nice lighting on all this. It kind of illustrates what it may look like at night at each of those locations. Huh. So I was talking fast, I didn't get everything in. But I think that uh, gives you a great view of some of the concepts that we are considered, considering. And uh, so we've been looking at this for a while now, but as we continue that design, we're going to get a lot of input from citizens and have meetings so that you can input on what you think about this to fine tune the project before we do it. And we will be investing some money to make this happen. Now while the work continues on 26, and there's an impact of that work. The city has found creative ways to support our local businesses that have been impacted by the construction. So we'll have Assistant City Manager Mark Wood tell us a little more about these initiatives. 2018 was a very busy year in terms of economic development for the city of Colleyville. And one of our largest initiatives was quarterly business assistance programs 
uh, to help businesses affected by the State Highway 26 construction project. Um, the project uh, runs through uh, Colleyville's main commercial corridor and so um, at the city we wanted to do everything we could um, to help those businesses that may be affected by the, by the construction. Overall sales tax was up 4% for the year but we do know that individual businesses uh, did feel the effects of the construction. So what we did was we rolled out a new program for each quarter. Quarter one, we provided an advertising grant for businesses to use however they see fit for their business. Um, during the second quarter, we uh, partnered with our school district and what we called the Colleyville Receipt Race, where PTAs uh, competed to see who could collect the most Colleyville business receipts. And the winner of those um, uh, received first place, second place, and third place uh, dollar amounts for their PTA. Um, our third program was a, a gift card program where we mailed each Colleyville household a $10 gift card twice. Um, that gift card was good um, at any Colleyville business. In our last program, we called it Colleyville Gives, and not only did it help businesses, but it also helped out our local nonprofits. So uh, businesses could apply for uh, grant funding again, and they could double that grant amount if they donated $500 to a local charity. Um, we heard from a lot of businesses and um, they were very appreciative of the programs um, and it was just something that we wanted to do uh, throughout the year to again help those businesses affected by the construction project taking place along with 26. So I'm excited to report to you that that quarter four promotion program that Mark was talking about uh, actually raised over $27,000 for local charities and nonprofits. And we want to thank the Colleyville businesses for they're the ones that donated that money to the nonprofits. We really appreciate you guys. Um, as we move through 2019, we will continue these economic development initiatives and our partnership with the Colleyville Chamber. We have recently rolled out a new program we're calling Colleyville Best. That stands for Colleyville Business Enhancements to Support Transformation. That's a mouthful. As, so we won't say that, we'll say best. As State Highway 26 is completed, and, uh, and once all the landscaping, meeting work, and lighting is in place, it will be a beautiful corridor. We want to match the beauty of our streets with the beauty of the buildings located along the highway. So the BEST program is designed to help do that, help make that happen. The BEST program will provide targeted grants for businesses located on Highway 26 that are willing to invest in their property. The city will match these investments with grant funding. This money can be used for things like new signs, exterior painting, landscaping, and other exterior improvements. We've already had a few businesses take us up on this offer, like Lilium Floral Design. Lilium is an example of a successful homegrown entrepreneurial business that has been very successful. They opened in, the, in an old bank building near Glade in 26, and as business took off, they needed more space. The city provided some grant fund to assist Lilium with enclosing the old drive-through bank lanes and doubling the square footage of their space. And you can see where those windows are, that's where the bank lanes used to be. The extra space is projected to double their sales revenue and increase their staffing level. So we wish Lilium much success and look forward to partnering with many more businesses in town. The BEST program was created after the city completed economic development assessments on the northern and southern gateways to the city. The southern portion of 26 into Colleyville is a prime candidate for redevelopment, while the northern gateway, which stretches from John McCain Road to Longwood Drive, is green space that provides a canvas for new development. Both new development and redevelopment projects are eligible for funding through the BEST program.